Let's solve this equation. So I got x squared minus 3x equals 1. Now it almost seems like it's perfect form for do, doing complete the square, but complete the square is not that simple. So let's just go back to the quadratic formula. But I need to get to 1 over on the left side, so I got x squared minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. You have to have 0 on one side to use the quadratic formula. Now we need to identify a, b, and c. a is the number in front of our x squared, which is 1. b is the number in front of our x, which is negative 3. And c is our number at the end, which is negative 1. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's probably a good idea to go through and replace all of your variables with parentheses before you plug in your numbers. Everything else remains exactly the same. We're just replacing the variables with parentheses. Now everywhere we had a b, we'll put in negative 3. Everywhere we had an a, we'll put in 1. And everywhere we had a C, we'll put in negative 1. Well, negative, negative gives us positive 3, plus or minus. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times a negative 1 gives us a positive 4 over 2. And we got 3 plus or minus square root. 9 plus 4 gives us 13 over 2. Now 13 is prime, so we can't simplify the radical any, and actually this is our answer.